They didn't let me stay this time. They were like, you're finished. And they would all walk me to the door as a family. And I was like, what is this? But I loved so, having the dream. It was so, so what surreal. happens when you finally meet this person that, you know, oh my, like Michael Jackson? That is like top. And then you went into Prince as well? How do you even know how to communicate with these people? I, I got to tell you something. This is why most people should trust their dreams. Everybody should trust your dreams. I did not know how I was going to work with Michael Jackson. I had no idea. All I knew was that I was going to. In 1995, I was working with Montel Jordan. This is how we do it. See, I told you, I forget, right? Right? There you go. I was working with Montel Jordan. We were doing a movie with Eddie Murphy called The Nutty Professor. And there was a scene where he was doing called Something for the Honeys with Dave Chappelle in the movie. So during the lunch break, we're on the Universal lot, right? I'm a loner, I've always been that way. And I go walking around, they're like, you're not gonna sit here? And I was like, I don't wanna sit in a studio with people that I don't know. You know, like all the grips were there. I'm like, I'm going to walk around. Universal Studio, right? I walk on to this huge set about 15 minutes later. I'm looking around, the room is all white. And I'm like, what are they doing here? And then I see like this black stuff over there. I walked onto the set of Scream. How does that happen? In the words of Lisa Lisa, fuck. <laughs> right? So I walk in, the choreographer's there, he's like, can I help you? I was like, what are you guys filming here? He was like, 